A series of organized protests across Canada today targeted sex education in schools and the rights of queer and trans children. The organizers claim so-called gender ideology is being taught in schools and that children are being indoctrinated and sexualized. Counter-protesters pushed back against that, saying the group is trying to roll back the clock on human rights and is fostering regressive policies that will lead to hatred and violence against queer and trans people. Politicians are pushing back too. BC's Premier tweeting, there is no room for hate in BC schools and that school must be a place where all students, staff and families belong and feel safe and where respect is shown for each other's differences. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tweeting, transphobia, homophobia and biphobia have no place in this country. We strongly condemn this hate and its manifestations. David Baxter is in Ottawa where protesters turned up on Parliament Hill. David, what happened there? Well, Donna, over a thousand protesters and counter protesters came out to Parliament today. It all started with what people are calling the One Million March for Children. Now, these are people saying that they're standing up against gender ideology, indoctrination in kids. Well, that's what they are calling it. And the counter protesters came up to say they're here to stand up for trans kids. Eventually, it led to about a 90 minute standoff with police separating the two sides uh, as they hurled conflicting chants at each other. Take a listen. As you can see there, that initial protest began to march down El Elgin Street away from Parliament Hill, and after that, people began to disperse around here. Now, similar scenes unfolded across Canada, taking the listen to what protesters on both sides had to say in Victoria. I'm here to protect my grandchildren from uh, any sexual orientation in schools. It's wrong. Our kids deserve to be innocent not the school telling the parents how to raise their kids. I think it's misguided and I think there's some confusion about maybe what we do in schools. Um, what we teach is inclusivity so that every person can see themselves reflected in their school and their school material. David, those who organize this march claim they're protecting the innocence, the safety of children. Plenty of people though think it's exactly the opposite. Yes, Donna, and that's exactly what brought the counter-protesters out today, including the NDP caucus in Ottawa. Jagmeet Singh was actually part of the line leading the counter-protest march up Parliament Hill. I spoke with him just before that about the gender policies in New Brunswick and Saskatchewan schools. It shows the bullies that the Conservatives are and shows that they're not actually dealing with the problems that people are faced with and are trying to create division and pick fights with vulnerable people. Now. LGBTQ plus advocates say this is about protecting vulnerable youth in schools. And now a University of Ottawa study last year found that trans kids are five times more likely to think about suicide and seven times more likely than their, to attempt it than their cisgender peers. Donna? All right, David Baxter in Ottawa. Thanks.